Yesterday, we had someone bring a sample of bullseye Bermuda grass from a sports field that the symptoms didn't look quite right for a leaf spot disease such as a bipolaris leaf spot. So we put it in an incubation chamber uh, overnight and here's what we saw. You can see the very clearly the mycelium, heavy mycelium uh, all over the sample, which uh, we're gonna find out what that organism is. Doesn't seem typical for bipolaris leaf spot, so we're suspecting some other fungus. Let's see what we find out. Well, let's get some uh, mycelium on the microscope to see what we can do. We like to scoop up some of the mycelium and also take a little piece of leaf tissue with a lesion on it to uh, get a better idea of exactly what's going on. We'll transfer this to a microscope slide and then take it to the compound scope. And what we see here is uh, mycelium bending in, a, in an angle, and that is very typical of a pythium type species. We also look at that hyphum and we see that there is no septa uh, on the hyphum at all, and there's even some branching that also uh, indicates that we are not seeing any septa. So we're pretty much into the general arena of the oomycetes, which include the pythium species, which is probably what we are looking at. Well, we frequently like to retain samples for a few extra days in the case of the pythium sample. We like to see if we can wait for the organism to produce some resting structures that'll give us a better idea of what species it might be. Although we've already, already informed the uh, superintendent that uh, the diagnosis is pretty much complete. We know that it is a pythium species. We know which products to use. Uh, metal axle being uh, a methanoxin. Uh, Subdue Max being a good choice, Banol being another choice to, uh, to knock the fungus down. Here's what it looks like. We let it incubate a little bit longer. Now, if you had difficulty seeing the mycelium in the previous uh, segment, well, I don't think you have any trouble. So it looks pretty uh, solid, uh, covered with mycelium. And we'll take a look and see if we can pick around in here and find some oospores, chlamydospores, uh, something like that that would give us an idea of what the species is. Let's take a look. This sample of hyphae was stained with a red dye called safranin O. This allows us to see the fungus structures a little bit better and what we're seeing in the center of the monitor is a terminal chlamydospore. And that's typical for some of the pythium species but it doesn't provide us enough information to be able to identify this pythium two species. So we're pretty much stuck at that level right now, and if we find any additional spores, we'll let you know. Take a look at the update for some additional information on Pythium.